The club we're about to review in today's video, well it just might be the strangest club release from any manufacturer in 2022. In fact, I've got to say I was a little shocked when I unboxed this club we're about to review from Ping. So the thing is, if you struggle with your short game, then uh, this club will help you. I've absolutely no doubt about that. In fact, it could be the answer to all your prayers, you know. Now, Ping have long been associated as being a brand for the masses. They make user-friendly golf clubs. And the club we're about to look at in today's video, well, that's no different. Right, we're not reviewing this club, but uh, I might as well make my way down the fairway. You see, the thing is, Ping have released a chipper. You heard me right, a chipper. The question is why, and is it any good? So the first part of that question was, well, why did Ping release a chipper? Well, essentially to make what is a fundamental part of the game just that little bit easier. But the next question remains is, well, then how does this thing help? Well, first of all, this is very much a unique build and it's a combination very much of your putter and your nine iron in terms of its characteristics. First of all, it weighs 325 grams, which is uh, very much in between that of your putter and of your nine iron. The loft on this thing is 38.5 degrees, which is more like your, uh, your nine iron. And the length of shaft is 35 inches, but that's very much customizable. But then there's a few other features in there that make it very much more unique than the standard putters, chippers rather, that I've seen in the past. So as you can see, there is a cambered sole and that's gonna help you from both a tight lie on the fairway or in and around the fringes, but it'll also help you when you're playing through the rough. There's a shallow face height. So again, that sits between the height of a putter and a nine iron. So a lot more shallower than your nine iron. Micromax grooves, that's for spin control. There's some perimeter weighting in that club, which again is gonna help you in terms of forgiveness. Um, and from the back end, you'll see this composite cavity, which just affects or aids, assists, whatever the word is, the feel in and around the greens. And then again, that sort of hydropearl finish, which again has been very much synonymous with uh, Ping products. It's just all round, it's, a, it's very much a different type of product. And like I said throughout this video, when I first unboxed it, I must admit, I was very unsure. As I've played with it, both the looks, but more importantly, the performance, well, they've certainly grown on me. Right, Ping are suggesting, are we gonna just about get there? This could be perfect, you know. Well, it's certainly good enough. We've played from exactly 40 yards uh, to the flag, and that's where Ping are suggesting this club can be used anywhere from 40 yards to in and around the fringes. They reckon you can play it from the fringe, you can play it from the rough. The way the club is built, it's to, well, you use a putting style to chip, and that idea is to eliminate both blading and chunking of those horrible little chip shots. And so far, 240 yarders have proven to be, uh, well, better than I could probably get from my wedge, to be honest with you. And the next shots you're gonna see me play are from the rough, which again is, uh, it's always a little bit tricky with wedging hand and uh, can be a little bit more stressful. What you'll see is that this ball again, only pops it up just a little bit. You already know what the loft is on this club and it just does act in exactly the same way as a nine iron wood in terms of how it pops the ball up. But the important thing is it gets it going at the hole. And the thing you've got to work out is just a little bit of playing around with this to gauge that judgment of weight, which is all key and uh, important to getting near the hole. And then you can come and join me back here and have a look at this sort of horrible little uh, setting we've got, which is a slippery one down the slope out of the rough. I wouldn't be fancying this one at all, but let's see how it gets on when we try it with this little chipper. Well, it's picked it up okay. We've perhaps not given it enough, have we? Do you know what? It's pulled up a little bit short, but yet again, the question I keep asking myself is, well, how much better would I have done with a lofted wedge? And maybe no better at all. In fact, on most occasions, I'm thinking probably worse. Kick up, kick up. 
almost right on line as well. This is filmed the day after most of the clips that you're seeing because last night I realised the most important bit that I missed from the filming and that was the bit that I mentioned this is a strange club from Ping and when I unboxed it, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't what I was expecting when they told me they were releasing a chipper. I had a vision in my head of what a chipper traditionally looks like and that's the kind of uh, well it's it's almost uh, a putter with loft if you like and even the neck is generally a plumber's neck um, you can visibly see that it is a chipper so why is that important well what I thought about was if you're kind of like shallow like me and the idea of putting a chipper in the bag is something that would be uh, I'd probably struggle with as much as they've performed well for me in the past I struggle with it whereas what Ping have I think quite cleverly done this effectively looks to all intents and purposes like an iron and therefore I can put that in my bag there's no stigma attached there's no one even knowing that I've got a chipper in the bag and for me maybe just me that's a real positive thing that Ping have done anyway back to yesterday Okay, so we're pretty much done, you know my opinion, but we're going to have a little bit of an experiment as one of the last holes we're going to play. We've got 90 yards to that flag you can see, because what I'm getting is that there's every chance that you can play this uh, club from a lot further out than 40 yards. Especially, like I said, when there's nothing between you and the flag, and uh, especially in the summer, you've got some, uh, some bounding, rolling fairways. So here we go, let's give it a go. You see, it just picks the ball up quite nice. Hopefully this is going to kick around. Well, we've got to the fringe there. It's not a bad effort at all. And again, the big thing it does, as it's done throughout this video, is it keeps the ball under control. You keep that swing under control. It's nice and simple. And all that really was an extended putting motion. So not only does I would say that, uh, although Ping is saying from 40 yards in, I think there's a little bit more versatility in this club than they probably claim. Sit down. Oh, do you know what? I think that's a opportune moment to leave it. We can't play any more shots. And one of my concerns might be that I'd get a little bit of over-reliance on this club. But I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because I think if you carried on practicing with this from a number of different scenarios and from a number of different yardages, you could become really sharp with it. And even in this, uh, I played with it all morning. I've been on the Nicholas course earlier today on the Cheshire course this afternoon. And the more I've played with it, the more I've got familiar with sort of how far the ball travels, how the ball pops up. So I think, and how it comes off the club face. So I think, yeah, you could really get dialed in with this thing. And uh, I've done videos in the past where I said that I love the theory of a chipper, but I refuse to put one in the bag. But honestly, and this is the God's honest truth, if you want my opinion on this, I've played that well with it this morning in terms of putting it into positions that I would perhaps not have bettered with my wedge and in some cases done better than I would have with my wedge that I would seriously consider dropping one of my wedges out of the bag and putting this in as a replacement. I never thought I'd be saying that when I put the, pulled this out of the box just a week or so with the delivery from Ping. Right. Let me know your thoughts because that's all that matters. I'm always interested in your thoughts and opinions. We've already uh, hopefully answered a lot of the questions that you might have. But if you come up with anything that I've uh, failed to cover, stick it in the comments section below and hopefully I can get back to you with some kind of uh, satisfactory reply. Right, thumbs up, comments. Subscribe if you don't already, that's the other one. And I'll see you all soon.